Bonjour tout le monde, welcome back to my channel Explore du Monde. My name is Megan, I'm your resident travel expert. And today we are going to be seeing how I pack for a two and a half day trip in New York. If you haven't seen the other videos related to this trip, I will link them down in the description below. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon if you'd like to know when I post new videos. So without further ado, let's jump on into packing. First, I'm gonna show you how I pack my makeup bag. Now I have um, this bag that I've had for about 10 years. I bought it at Walmart. Um, it's by the brand Trina, but since it is 10 years old, I am not going to put a link in the description. Um, so when you open it up, you have a place for your brushes. You have two zipper pockets that are actually removable. So if I didn't want to use them, I wouldn't have to. And then I have a back um, zippered pocket as well. So I start at the back. Now I'm going to New York for four days, two nights, which means I have to take my makeup off twice. So I have these, um, they're simple makeup wipes. I get them at Target, Walmart, Harris Teeter, whatever. Um, and I put two of them in a bag because I don't need to bring the whole giant thing. I just need to bring the two that I need. Same thing with these cotton rounds. I use them to apply toner to my face after I wash it. I'm going to wash my face four times, theoretically, while I'm there. So I have four of those. Uh, I also have my hair ties and bobby pins. Now I am getting my hair cut pretty short today, the day before I leave. Um, so I probably won't use the hair ties, but I will probably use the bobby pins, but always good to have. Last thing I have is a barrette, um, and that's because I will maybe use it to put my hair back, um, but I wanna have the option regardless of whether I end up using it or not. So that's that bag, that back pocket. So I'm gonna zip that up. Next, I put my toothbrush in. Um, this is not the toothbrush I use at home. It is my travel specific toothbrush. Um, and again, I have one of these little toothbrush head protectors that I bought a pack of at Walmart um, when I lived in the Midwest. So that's what we had available. So I just do, um, I actually need to turn this around for my own personal use. So I put that in like that. Um, then I have my travel size toothbrush or toothpaste. And I have a full size deodorant. If I was going on a longer trip, I'd get a smaller one so I could fit more stuff in here. But since it's only a two and a half day trip, I have that. Then I pack this little mesh bag and I put in all of my um, liquid cream stuff in this. So I have my face, my foundation. Um, I'm bringing my Laura Mercier foundation, but I do use others as well. Um, this is my primer. I have my French lavender hand sanitizer that I'm going to put in here as well. I have some hand lotion from Occitan and Provence. And then I have my, it doesn't know where to focus. I'm gonna do that. Um, I have my eye primer. What's that one? Then I go into this other pocket. So I have my eyeshadow compact um, from Bare Essentials or Bare Minerals. I have my setting powder, um, which is just Maybelline. I got it at CVS Pharmacy. And then I have all of my um, lip stuff. So I have a solid lipstick, a liquid lipstick, and a chapstick. So in this front part, I'm gonna put my makeup brushes. I have my foundation brush. I have the brush I used to put the setting powder on. And then I have all of my um, eyeshadow brushes that I'm going to use. Now this one um, is my eyeliner brush. I use eyeshadow instead of a normal other eyeliner. So I have this protective case that it came with and I just kept it to make sure that it doesn't get bent or anything while it's in, in route to my destination. The other thing I put up here and the last thing I put in my bag is my um, mascara. And that's it, that's my makeup bag. Then I zip it up and I put it in my travel bag. So on to packing. First thing you have to do is decide what clothes you're bringing with you. I'm going to be in New York for three days, so these are the clothes I'm bringing. 
Um, I have looked at the weather. It is supposed to be around 60-ish degrees most of the days. I'll put the Celsius on the screen because I don't know it off the top of my head. Um, and it's supposed to be raining two of the days. Now, I have prioritized comfort and light packing over trying to dress up for the musicals that we're going to. So I've thought more about what I want to wear during the day and the musicals are more for my own personal enjoyment. Um, and I am fine wearing these kind of normal clothes. So these are all the clothes that I'm bringing for that. I have my pajamas, I have a cardigan, just a black one. I have two scarves. I have a rain jacket from Eddie Bauer. I have my Sperry's. These are the only pair of shoes that I am bringing. I have three pairs of socks because I don't reuse socks. I have three pairs of underwear. I have a pair of jeans, just one. I'm going to wear it over the weekend and then not wear it next week until after I wash it again. And then I have three shirts. So first thing I have to do is decide what am I bringing, what am I wearing on the train there because then I don't need to pack that. So obviously my jeans I'm wearing on the train there. I'm wearing my shoes, my one pair of shoes on the train there, which means I need one pair of socks for that. I also need one pair of underwear, so that's going over there. Um, I'm going to wear this green shirt along with my black cardigan. And just kind of a tip is try to wear the bulkiest things that you have um, the day that you're traveling. I'm gonna wear this scarf with it. Um, and depending on whether or not I have room in my bag, I will also wear my rain jacket. So that means that in my bag, all I have to fit for clothing items is this. Now, the way that I pack them is I actually roll them. I do the army or ranger roll and I will link down in the description um, what a video that I used to learn that. Oh, I also have a belt and I'm gonna use that to help um, tie up the scarf when I roll it. So let's get into rolling. Okay, so next I actually have all of my other things, except for one thing which I will show you in a minute, um, and my makeup bag, which I've already shown you. So the other things that I have, I have this um, clear plastic bag full of my kind of liquidy things. So I have my shampoo, conditioner, hairspray, um, face wash, toner, night and day moisturizer, and then my perfume in this thing. I have my hairbrush, <laughs> kind of need your hairbrush. I have a pen, um, it's a Cat's Couleur or Four Colors pen um, that I have had since I lived in France, um, along with a notebook to write in. I have my umbrella because as I said before, it's going to rain while we're there. And along with my umbrella, I actually always bring a plastic bag and I like to fold them in this kind of football fold. The reason I do that is so that I can throw it in my bag and I don't necessarily, even if it's wet, I can just wrap it in the plastic bag and it won't get everything else in my bag wet. Um, I also have my sunglasses, 
which I will put inside this bag or the sunglass holder. I have two wall chargers. Um, I have my microphone that I use when I'm filming um, kind of the, just the tours of historic sites when I'm outdoors. So that actually goes inside its own bag. Um, I have my charger, external charger, um, and then I have an iPhone charger and I have a, a universal charger for both my headphones and my external battery. Um, I have my headphones. I have my phone represented here as a phone case since I am using my phone to record. Um, and then I have my wallet. And in my wallet, I have my cash, I have my driver's license, I have my debit and credit cards and I have uh, my smart trip card for the Metro here in DC and my Metro card for the subway in New York. So that is all in this little thing here. So another thing that I'm bringing is actually an extra bag. And the reason for that is that I want to carry this around New York as my purse. And I also want to have it for when we go to the British grocery store and the pickle store on Sunday. So coming back, I'll actually be carrying two bags, um, not just the one. But this is a Longchamp bag. It's actually a trifold, medium size with the long handle. Um, I've had it for six years now. Um, and I like these because one, they last a super long time, they're waterproof, and um, they actually fold up really nice and small so you can put them in other bags for when you're traveling. It is actually from the brand A New Day that's from Target. I bought it at Target a couple weeks ago. I've actually used it for another weekend vacation already. Um, and it worked really well. It was about $24. So if you are watching this in 2019, they may still have these bags at Target. Um, but I like this one because again, waterproof. Um, it has a pocket up front that's pretty deep. You can see my whole hand fits in there to put things in on the outside. Um, so inside it has this big pocket here and then it actually has a computer pocket which I'm not bringing my computer so I can use that for other things and then it has this back zipper pocket as well and I actually have um, my emergency feminine hygiene products in there just in case um, there you go that's that's the bag and I will pack everything that we've seen up to this point except for the clothes that I'm wearing in this bag. Um, the way that I pack is I actually put the things that I know that I don't need to start the trip off with in the bottom. So it's my makeup bag, which you saw me pack. That's gonna go over here. I have my toiletries bag or my liquids bag is gonna go in front of that right there. Um, I know that I don't need this purse because I'm going to take it out after we check into our Airbnb. So that's actually going to go in where the computer case is to keep it upright. The next thing that I know that I don't need on the train are my pajamas. So those are going to go in the bottom um, on this side. And then again, my shirts for the next couple days can also go into the bottom over here. Uh, next, I have my socks. As you saw, I put all four of them into this little, into themselves. And so those can just be kind of shoved down in here. Um, next is my scarf and my belt, which are just going to sit kind of nicely on top of that. The other thing that I know for sure that I don't need on the train are my sunglasses. It is supposed to be raining the day that we go. Um, it is supposed to be sunny the second day that we're there, so I do want them but I don't need them on the top of my bag. So I wanna protect them, so I'm gonna put them on top of this other bag that I have. Um, I also have my notebook and my pen, which I want to be easily accessible so that I can use them on the train. So those are gonna go in this back pocket as well, so I can just, I know where they are. I have my microphone that I record with. I'm not gonna record right when we get there, so that can kind of go in here with the other, with my clothing. 
I have my two wall chargers, which again, I don't need on the train because I do have an external battery and hopefully everything won't need to be <laughs> organized uh, or recharged at that point. Um, I also have Advil. I don't remember if I said this, but just in case I get a headache or I'm sore after walking all day or whatever, it's nice to have on me. So this is a, tra a travel Advil that I've just continued to refill as I've gone. Um, the next thing I'm gonna throw in here kind of towards the top is my umbrella and my bag um, to put my umbrella in. So the bag's actually just gonna be shoved kind of down in here. And the umbrella is actually, I think it can stand, no, I'm gonna put it here, um, which means I actually have, ah, there we go. So which means I actually have quite a bit of room left on top here. And the only other thing I need to put in is my hairbrush that I ended up having room in here for my raincoat. So I don't wanna wear that on the train now. Um, I have done the ranger roll with it so that it, or the army roll or whatever you wanna call it so that it will fit um, in this little top part really nicely. So if I get there and it's raining and it's cold, I can just easily pull it out. Now, again, last is my hairbrush, which I'm gonna put on top because that way I will have to take it out in order to use it the morning of, but I will remember to put it back. So that is it for the inside pocket. So I can just zip that up um, when I'm ready to go. And then I have my outside pocket. And so what I'm gonna put in there, I have my external battery and all of the cords in their little pouch. So I can easily get them if I want them. I have my wallet. So that can go in there. Um, I have my headphones. So those will go in there and those will be fully charged um, when I put them in there. And then I have my phone, again, represented by the phone case. Um, so that can just go right in there and then you zip it up. And that's all I have to carry. So that's it. That's how I pack for two and a half days in just one bag. If you have any travel advice as far as your own packing techniques that maybe you didn't see in this video, please leave them in the comments below. We all like to learn things. And if you enjoyed this video, please check out my channel and please hit the subscribe button before you leave, as well as the little bell icon to know when I post new videos. So a la prochaine, mes amis.